hello in continuous with the previous sessions so in this session we are going to discuss about the typography alignment spacing lighting shadows and grids so anyone discuss about this so what is this picture is going to uh, intimate it or it's going to deliver a message so definitely so this picture is indicated this is the ceiling in the ceiling especially one is the rectangular box in the rectangular box what are the things we are going to create so uh, people can you remember that uh, in your childhood you have uh, used the uh, letter alignment is that two ruled note and then four ruled note and the number for that uh, square note so what is the purpose of that or every picture or they are going to do the painting and beginning stage is that uh, so they are going to use the uh, help of the these lines so these lines are going to provide the full structure for that um, the design so uh, we are starting uh, the letters or sentences from uh, left to right in the unruled note so we cannot write properly in the alignment so just like a train it goes to uh, there is no proper way it goes to some other way like that so how to recover this or how to eliminate this is that we can use for grid lines or some lines we should follow so that will be helpful to uh, that providing the sentence will be in the straight line and readable format okay so alignment spacing lighting shadow so alignment it refers to how text is positioned there are four main alignment left right center and justified alignment helps designer to create coherent composition alignment is essential for ui as it helps organize elements and improve reading easy and user interaction so they provide visual structure to our designs making them logical and consistent across different platform and devices so spacing so letter spacing so continuously uh, without line spacing continuously the sentences and the paragraphs is going on in every textbook or any book is that it getting bored the user is not able to read a single line so they are uh, bored about the content and not connect with the uh, book and all so spacing is very important so letter spacing is the spacing between each individual letter letter spacing is often overlooked by the designer but it could uh, make all the difference to your text readability some basic guidelines to consider when using letter spacing what are they increasing letter spacing with upper case letters decreasing letter space when increasing font size and decreasing letter space when increasing font weight next one so lighting so what is the importance of lighting so light and shadow can add qualities like depth dimension perspective realism and visual interest to your design so this can simultaneously draw viewers into your design and make it seems to pop up the page or screen your typography is a great place to add light and shadow effects either on or off the letters particularly for designs where typography is the focal point this can really make the word come alive in eye catching way shadows so shadow or core shadow so this is the darkest part of the object farthest from the light source but shadows are not all in a dark blob of color they vary in shade the deepest part of the shadow so where the object is completely turned away from the light source is known as the core shadow so shadow or core shadow so this is the darkest part of the object farthest from the light source but shadow are not all one dark blob of color so they vary in shade the deepest part of a shadow where the object is completely turned away from the light source is known as the core shadow so last one is that grid so this is very important because of that here is indicated the earlier session the first slide we have remember that the two ruled note four ruled note and the uh, checker note is that the same things we are we are going to discuss the grid lines so grids are essential part of a designer's 
arrange cell creating a neatly crafted equal system for arranging content in the space of a screen but they are not rigid grids can change depending on the content around them your grid for the screen should consider a number of things the measure of the body text how many columns will it span the size of the viewpoint you are designing for the flexibility of the grid the horizontal and vertical rhythms the gators and margins so uh, the grid are very important part as things so these are some assignments uh, take it as the things and these are the references thank you